Hey guys, it's Jigs again at Jigs DIY. Today we are going to talk about wedding gown alterations. You know how expensive it is to have your wedding gown altered, even just for a bustle? I know there's a couple major company here in the USA that specialized in wedding gowns and other formal dresses and they charge a lot for alterations one of them for to hem just the front they charge two hundred dollars that's without the lace or anything just a simple hem on the the front and if you want your train shortened they wouldn't do that because that's altering the back and they can't do that and also the other one uh, I'm not going to name any any name, company name, but they are, they are uh, a chain store that they are all over USA. They seem to have stores, multiple stores in every state, so just know who they are. But, alright, um, I'll show you how to do a bustle. I have a dress here from my customer. She only need one bustle and she wanted the uh, standard or American bustle so we are going to do that and and when I get another dress that needed bustle a different style bustle I will do a video for that one too so this is going to be a series of uh, videos different uh, style bustles and different alterations for a wedding dress I just want to help you guys out so you will not get ripped off by those big company that when you buy a dress the cost of your alterations is uh, more expensive than the dress itself that's so ridiculous and so i'm helping you guys out and if you have not subscribed yet click up there yep right there there's a button to subscribe and also if you have other ideas that you think it will help others please make a comment down below yes and uh, share your ideas and let's help each other okay here it is here's the video on how to do a bustle okay to bustle a wedding dress she wanted a standard um, bustle so we're just gonna pick it up like that uh, she tried it on the other night and uh, she, it looked good in her but on her but it's not very flattering on this mannequin because because this is not the right size for the mannequin so what we're gonna do is we put a loop right here and a button up here so let me show you Get your needle that I already have th uh, threaded and uh, this is how I make a loop. I, I'm using four string, uh, four string on this needle. Just grab it like that. I think that's big enough for this button. Yep. Just secure it. Now let me flip this inside out. it around twice and pull it through do it again just to make sure that it will not uh, get undone while she's wearing it on her wedding day and 
we're done with our loop now we are going to put the button to make a knot I have the easier way to do it wrap it around three times and pull it through and I have my knot right there now we are gonna come up here the pin is just a mark where I wanted the bottom I just do it four times just to make sure it's secure and it's not coming off it's kind of hard to see with this position I got here right there alright Secure it just like we did with the loop. Now we're done. When I have another dress that needed more than just one bustle, then I will show you how to do it too. With this, there's another option that you can, that's what they call fringe bustle, you, instead of up like that, you can do it under, would be just like that. But the bride, she chose the standard or American bustle, and I let me show you how to put it up without coming off you twist it's like that and you twist it give it a good twist and put it up like that and now your loop is not coming off even when she's moving around dancing around it's not gonna go anywhere okay and that's it for the bustle this is Jigs sharing the joy of sewing one stitch at a time.